Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to the brand new series. It's actually taken a lot longer than I wanted to actually start this series. But uh, yeah, we'll start it now and it is of course the quick reviews. And uh, I've decided for the first quick review, I've decided to take a game that's quite popular. And it's a popular series and it's a popular game. I'll be surprised if there's anybody out there that hasn't, you know, heard of the game. Not to mention played it. But anyway guys, we have got, you can tell by the title, Final Fantasy X. Or Final Fantasy X. Now, I've never actually completed this game, but I think I know it well enough to actually do a quick review of it. So, this was the first Final Fantasy game I ever played. And uh, it, it blew me away, guys. Absolutely blew me away. The way the game looked, you know, the characters, brilliant soundtrack, absolutely fantastic. A really good game. But I went into this, I was a bit of a noob. Uh, I can't actually remember playing any other console RPGs. So when I was playing through the game, what I kept doing was actually running away from the wild battles. I'm sorry, you did not do that in an RPG. I learned that the hard way. And uh, obviously, I was when the time like I got to later bosses, and I was really under level, so I found them really, really tough. I died in like three hits or something. Really, really weak characters. So um, yeah, that's kind. That's what made me fail the first time I tried to play for the game. The second time I played for the game, and this is what I'm going to do the the review on, was I actually got stuck or just got fed up of the cloister of trials. Now for me, that was like one of the the main negatives in this game. I don't know why they had to add like some kind of puzzle puzzle feature to the game. I mean, I don't think there's that many in the game. I mean, I think I got to either the second one or the third one, uh, these cloister trials. And uh, I know I could have looked up a walkthrough, but I just couldn't be bothered. You know, I just wanted to play, you know, an RPG, you know, enjoy the gameplay, enjoy, you know, grinding, you know, enjoy the story. I didn't want to do, like, puzzles and that. It's uh, not really what I expected in an RPG game. So I think what you had is these, like, little orbs. I don't actually remember the exact name of them. We had these orbs, you had to like slot them into different holes in these like walls. And then like different doors would open. So basically you've got to insert these orbs into the doors in like the correct order. Putting the correct coloured orb into the right places. The first one wasn't too bad, but as the game went on, like the third, the second and third cloister trials, it actually got really, really hard. So that's one of the reasons why I stopped the game. Another thing I didn't like about this game was actually the way you level up. I mean, like I said, this is the first RPG game I played, so I didn't know any better. But, you know, I've played so many RPG games now that I know that the way they level up in this game is, it's not a good way. Not a good way at all. I mean, in most games you level up automatically, you know, your stats go up, you learn new moves, new magic, stuff like that. You learn it automatically. In this game, you've got to, like, plot out your thing. You know, you've got these, it's called the Sphere Grid. You have to, like, every time you level up, you get so many, like, spheres. And you've got to put these spheres onto this grid. So you've got to, like, pull out your thing, whether you want to learn a new move, or get some extra attack, or get some extra HP. Uh, for me, I, that was just a dumb way to do it. Um, I didn't like that. They fixed that in Final Fantasy X2, or X2, even though it was a pretty damn crap game. I actually completed that game. <laughs> She didn't have any cloister trials, and uh, the leveling up system was a lot better in my opinion. So you could totally do the sphere grid in totally the wrong way. You could like kind of have tons of attack power, but have like hardly any health, or tons of health but hardly any defense, and you know stuff like that. You know, I don't think it's a good way to have done the game. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm sticking. I didn't actually show you the the back at the start of this review. That's what I wanted to do. But yeah guys, that's basically my main negative. The positives though, there's quite a few positives, like I said before. Beautiful scenery, you know, for a PS2 game. Um, for its time, absolutely beautiful guys. Beautiful graphics. And I also said the carts are brilliant, like uh, Riku, Yuna, Sir Oren, uh, Lulu, Waka. The only card I didn't really like was him. That's the main character in the game. Tidus or Tidus, I'm not really sure how we say it. But he was he was annoying, guys. He, he's a bit of a goof. I, I, I don't like him too much. But like I say, all the other characters are absolutely fantastic. And I just loved, you know, the cutscenes and that for the majority of them. Apart from maybe the one that's extremely cheesy. 
I'm sure most people have heard of it. It's the Tidus and Yuna laughing scene. Basically, just laugh out loud for no apparent reason. It's a bit silly, to be honest. And that was that incredible dumb scene. Uh, but let's not talk about that too much. That's basically it, guys. You know, I mean, the main bad guy as well. I'm not going to reveal it, but the main bad guy is quite a hateable guy, as far as I'm concerned. I really found myself disliking that guy. So that's a good thing. You know, it's a good thing. You really, like, want to... You know, dislike the main bad guy. I mean, it shows that they're doing their job if you dislike them, you know? You want to bum and kick their ass, don't you? So, um, yeah, that's my little review, guys. It's actually not really a quick review. I think this could be actually, I don't know, a five or six minute uh, video. So I'll try and keep them short in the future. But I had quite a lot to talk about with uh, Final Fantasy X. Uh, would I recommend it if you like RPGs? Hell yes. Just depends on whether or not you like puzzles, you know? If you don't like puzzles, if you absolutely despise puzzles, you might not like the Cloister Trials. But I need to play for this game again, guys, you know, I really do. And just use, if I need to, use YouTube or something to, like, as a walkthrough to do the Cloister Trials. And also the, oh, I can't remember the name of it, it's kind of like some, like, ball game, like, throw ball, you've got, like, score goal and things. And I hated that. Blitzball, Blitzball was the name of it. Yeah, I didn't like Blitzball. Um, I'm glad you didn't have to do that like too much. You didn't have to do that at like, one point in the game. And for me, it, just, it wasn't really that good. So um, I never negative with the game. But, you know, it's just my personal opinion. Some people probably love Blitzball, but I couldn't get into it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this game, let me know what you think of the game. If you dislike it again, just let me know, guys. Anyone that's played it. Or just let me know what you think of the whole Final Fantasy series in general. And as always, guys, if you've got any requests, if you know I've got a certain game that you'd like me to do a quick review on, uh, yeah, just leave it in the comments below, guys, and uh, I'll get back to you and uh, I'll have it arranged. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this new series, and I'll catch you all later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.